welcome to Bad vs. Frank. We've got another special episode today. Um, we're looking at a question that was posted on MarketWatch um, uh, from a couple that's considering uh, buying a house, uh, but they don't know if they should buy it or keep renting. Uh, so let's take a look at this. Um, this is a couple uh, in Virginia that recently moved to Virginia. Um, they, they're starting uh, to repay student loan for $157,000 um, and they currently have $45,000 cash um, and uh, $45,000 in their form of gain. Um, they make about $121,000 before taxes, really good, really good, um, and hesitant about buying a house and going in debt for another $250,000. Uh, currently, both of them are 57 years old. Um, what is uh, your advice on this? What should they do? Um, I'm not an expert, it's just my opinion. I enjoy looking at these type of things um, and sharing my thoughts uh, with other people in here and what other people um, think uh, about this and uh, making sure that my life makes sense. But, um, first of all, uh, you know, congrats to them. I mean, this couple is, uh, is doing really well for themselves. Obviously, they could be doing better. Um, but uh, $121,000 is really good. I know the median household income in Virginia is around $74,000. Uh, so $121,000 is, is really good. They're really in that uh, upper end there um, for people. Um, the retirement age, which is gonna be really important in this situation, is 62 years old. Um, and both of them, I think, are 57. Uh, so they essentially have five years to go uh, before they can start retirement um, to have some of the initial benefits. But if they want the maximum benefits, um, they can retire or they'll have to wait until 67, which gives them 10 years. And that's really good. Um, with the income that they have and five to 10 years of time, um, they have uh, a number of options, uh, which we're gonna be talking about in a minute. Um, like we always say on this channel, buying a home has to make sense, right? Regardless of your situation, you, you want to find yourself in the right position to buy a home. The recommendation is a 20% down payment. For a $250,000 house, uh, which is what they're looking at right now, 50% uh, 20% uh, down payment would be essentially $50,000. Uh, so they technically don't even have enough money right now, and that's even if they wipe all the savings that they have, which is never recommended. Uh, when you're buying a house, you want to make sure that you have enough money um, for any anything that happens during your first year as you're moving in, any repairs or any accidents, uh, if you lose your job or um, you have a medical issue, um, you don't want to be living on the edge. Um, so in this case, uh, let's assume you know thirty to forty thousand dollars for the two of them rent emergency fee, emergency fund. Um, so they will need an additional fifty to fifty five thousand dollars, including closing, including closing fees. Um, so they want to save close to like, you know, eighty to $100,000 before they consider buying a house. I think that's regardless of whether they have the student loan or not. Um, but that's what I would recommend. Essentially, in the next year or two, uh, focus on saving another uh, 50, uh, $50,000, I would say. Um, and that will not only, you know, give you time to save, you know, your 20%, but also uh, hopefully the real estate market cools down because right now prices are really high seller's market um, so hopefully that puts you in a position where uh, you have a little more leverage if with a hundred and twenty one thousand dollar salary or income um, they're able to save you know fifty thousand dollar a year um, it may take another three three years after that uh, for them to finish that student loan payment uh, which is hundred and fifty seven thousand dollars I think fifty thousand dollars a year is very doable with a hundred and twenty thousand dollar uh, salary um, if it's just the two of them and uh, you know they, they have budgets they control where the money is going etc etc um, so essentially in a year they can buy this house and three years later they can pay off the, the loan um, and again assuming that they can keep paying uh, saving fifty thousand dollars a year uh, it may take another five years for them to pay off the house or even less actually four additional years to pay off the house because so that will be, you know, all of that will be before they reach that uh, 67 year old uh, retirement age. So again, depending on the career that they have, if they're able to continue um, the career and the jobs that they have uh, and maintain or increase that income of 121 years, uh, $121,000, uh, within a year they can buy a house. Um, three years later, which is year four, they can pay off their loan. And essentially six years later, or five to six years later, 
uh, they can comfortably pay off the house. Um, and they can essentially uh, retire with a paid, off, paid for home um, and mortgage free. Um, and then, um, obviously they need to make an income to be able to live, um, but the amount that they will need will be significantly less. That's where you can rely on any additional pension or additional income they have or a part-time job or just, you know, uh, some sort of volunteering or something fun, relaxing. Uh, that's just paying your regular, you know, bills and your food essentially. Um, so very doable. Um, so that's my advice to them. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you agree, if you disagree, uh, what would you recommend this couple do? Um, but again,